and uh, we can go ahead and just actually qu we'll click on freeze frame data uh, for this fault and it just gives us an idea of you know when it occurred last um, and then uh, what lamp is active and if you flip over to help uh, there we have a list of possible fault causes and the effects of that fault and then we've also got some information on the sensor that is is uh, triggering that fault code so we got oil pressure sensor here uh, we can go through and hit the diagram uh, and we can actually view our wiring diagram um, that that has this oil pressure sensor component on it. Uh, so it takes a second to load up here, but the wiring diagrams are very impressive. Um, this is one thing that I was kind of blown away with at first. I, I didn't um, I, I didn't expect a whole bunch right off the bat, but uh, these are incredible um, for for something that's included in the program here. Um, as you can see, you can float over top of each of the components, and it gives you kind of a, a picture uh, or a diagram of the components in some cases. Um, and uh, you can you can zoom in, you can zoom out uh, of the uh, wiring diagram here you can you know turn it sideways so you get a full page view um, you can even take a snapshot and, uh, and and print it off if you wanted to so we've got uh, yeah we've got our di wiring diagrams built in you'll notice that I haven't even yet connected to the ECM at this point uh, we're still in the auto scan feature um, so you know we haven't actually established a true connection uh, to the module at this point it's it's just a uh, a quick look into the module um, and uh, and uh, the information that that module is 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 putting out in terms of fault codes so yeah we have a component information um, available wiring diagrams and then we've also got the fault code troubleshooting uh, diagram or Falco troubleshooting trees um, available through the JAL test program as well. Now, um, you will see in the menu along the side here, um, and then even right here, you can see the little uh, globe icon beside each of these icons. Um, that is that indicates that this is a part of the JAL test info online subscription. Uh, so essentially, if you don't uh, if you don't opt into the JAL test info online, you still get the wiring diagrams, you get maintenance information as well. Uh, but you're not going to have access to uh, a few of, of these other items uh, available here. Um, so that's included with the JAL test info online. So what I really like about uh, the these troubleshooting uh, trees is actually they give you uh, links exactly to um, the the uh, procedures you're supposed to run. So the first you know the first step here um, is to uh, check if there are other faults um, in the control unit, and if there are not, um, then carry on to the next one. So in this case, let's say we have no other faults, uh, we'll click that's okay, uh, and then we'll look at step two. We'll turn off the ignition, wait 20 minutes, verify the the temperature sensor properties are are okay um, you know you can check that off as good go down to step three check the oil pressure sensor uh, it gives you a, a, um, you know the instructions here it shows you a, a picture of the uh, sensor and the pins um, and then it also gives you a link to the wiring diagram so you haven't you know, I mean it's it's pretty well streamlined for the most part um, we've got specs for for torquing a sensor in um, component replacement guide here um, and display you can display the measurements right off the bat so if you click on this link it'll bring up the live stream of, of data to show you what that value is so um, if this is out of spec we'll click the X um, there we go and this will show up in the diagnostic report um, when we're done here so we haven't even actually gone through and connected officially to the uh, the the um, ECM itself if we needed to go in and clear the fall codes uh, then or run some tests or something like that we could actually do an official connection uh, to this module so we're actually just going to go back here and um, 